How's everybody doing? <laughs> I thought I'd pause to see if we had a hiccup. All right, everybody, it's Friday. It's 12 noon. That means it's Festool Live. I'm hoping everybody's going to have a wicked good weekend because I know ours starts real soon after this episode. Anybody know what episode, Mini? What episode is this? One, five. Four. 154. That's pretty daggone good. That means we've done 153 so far. I'm really good at metric there. All right. So, <laughs> okay, let's hit the room. We have a special guest today. Over here, we have Big D. Hey, hey. Over here, we have Sophia. Wave Sophia. You got her? Chris, can you focus? I am. Okay, good. Hey, <laughs> over here, we have Minnie. Chris, you got Minnie? Hi, Hi everybody. Do. Okay, and behind the camera we have Chris, the unit, Cybert. See, I said T. I put a T on there. Thank you. All right, you're very welcome. And unbelievable, on the line, as some of us old guys say, we have a special guest. His name is Garrett Sato. He's been in here before, and he's doing all the Q&A for you, so I don't have to. Okay, one of the things I want to make sure that everybody knows is Minnie is working the board today, and make sure you tell us where you're from, so in the comments, so she knows, and she can write them down. I think when we started, we had 49 people waiting. I can't believe that. I, this is so cool. How many we have now? 65. It, oh, we have 65 people. Hey, welcome, everybody. Okay, today's? 87. Now. 87. So, woo! Boy, I love the internets. See how I said that? The interwebs? I'm good like that. Okay, hey everybody, today's episode, you might be able to tell, is on the RSC18. That's the reciprocating saw. That's what the RS stands for. Did you know that? Do you know what the, you know what the C stands for? Cordless. Wow. Okay, so in saying that, I have to reflect way back when, when we started coming out with cordless with, in the Festool system, where we just had drills. We came out with the original uh, EC motor or brushless motor. And in classes, I used to ask whether it was a dealer or an end user, I said, what else, after we came out with the track saw, what else would you like to see? And everybody said saws all or reciprocating saw. Aha, we listened to you, and guess what? We have the RSC-18 cordless reciprocating saw. And it is amazing. And don't believe me. <laughs> okay, everybody who reads the specs on this or whatever and they see videos on it, they go, wow, that's awesome. No, I mentioned it last week, I'll mention it this week. Feeling is believing. Go get it for the 30 day money back guarantee and check it out. You will freak out, you won't return it. I promise you that, it is amazing reciprocating saw. But you can also go into a dealer who has it and check it out and cut with it and it's amazing. Now the reason I keep saying this is, I don't wanna say it's a typical Sawzall, but I keep hearing when people read the specs and tech on this, that it's nine pounds. Yeah, that's good. Because one of the things I personally hate about a reciprocating saw is the vibration. The speed is phenomenal. You have two speeds. You have one, and that'll give you zero to 1900. That's for plastics and metal. And then two for all your construction materials and wood. But there is true variable speed and you can control it in the trigger. These just govern the high end of it. Okay, so you have zero to 1901 and then two, zero to 3000. You also have your pendulum stroke. It's a three millimeter dif difference where zero, it's just going in line. But when you're using wood construction materials, you can bring it here and you can get it. So these teeth, when I describe pendulum stroke, basically is going like this at zero, but, and this is like a jigsaw, this is like the uh, Cavex and Tryon jigsaw. When I put the, uh, alter the uh, pendulum swing, it starts to bite even more, so it's more aggressive. When I'm cutting today uh, galvanized pipe, I will put it in zero. I don't want these teeth on a metal blade uh, getting an aggressive cut, I want it straight like this. Hopefully you understand that, hopefully you understand that about reciprocating saws. And that is a variable pendulum stroke right there. 
good. This is your on and off trigger. But the, like I said, the variable speed's in there. And also there's a great feature. You'll notice right now, I have no battery on here. Okay, I'll be inserting the blade momentarily. And I always try to teach people when you're using a cordless tool that accepts a blade, make sure you take the battery off during changes. Okay, but here's a great safety feature. Check it out. You can lock the trigger off. So if you don't want to keep taking batteries on and off, you can just lock the trigger. I still try to do that. Um, let's do this. Let's, uh, what am I going to cut first? Think I should cut some wood? Let's okay. do it. Yeah? You think so? Okay. Yep. So let's do this. I'm going to put on this small blade right here. No, let's use this one. I really like this one. I'm going to be cutting this uh, stack of scrap that I glued up yesterday. And check how difficult this is to put the blade in. See how it locked in? Real easy. To take the blade out, you just take this. There's a little bump here, and it actually spits out. You can control... And this is the part, I think, when you're using a reciprocating saw, a lot of people don't understand. It's the shoe, and it's articulated like this. It tilts up and down. But important on this is sometimes you don't you want to, um, uh, it's an inch and a quarter stroke or 32 millimeter. You, it's not shortening it. You just, maybe there's something behind the wall you don't want to cut into, so this keeps you away. This here is learned when, oh, let me see if I can get this for you guys out here. You don't want to ever start a sawzall like this because this will rattle you. You want to make sure the shoe is engaged and come into the cut. All right, now I'm going to use this like a traditional reciprocating saw. And I want you to notice the dust that this, this makes because for uh, a few years, um, I would hear people say about our try-on jigsaw and our um, uh, Carvex jigsaw. I'll, I'll take the blade out so you can see this. When I'm cutting with this, I'm pulling the back, okay? But I'm going to leave some dust here. And some going to say with the jigsaws, oh, you don't get all the dust. No, we don't. And with a reciprocating saw, we don't get it on the dust. But we get the lion's share of it. And I want to prove this to you today because I see Chris. You can't see him right now. He's nodding. Uh, not nodding off. He's, no he's saying yes, okay? And <laughs> we were messing with this uh, this morning, and we were both kind of freaking out the difference. Okay, and we've, in other days, we've shot some videos. So another, another great thing here is if you have a two by four, this is a, a, a rafter hook. You can swivel that out of the way or if it gets in the way, you can take it off. But I'm gonna take it like this and Big D, I'm gonna bring the shoe in and I think you can get me right here as I'm cutting. I want, Chris, you be careful of this, but I'm gonna always remember, have safety glasses on when you're using a reciprocating saw. <sighs> Let's see if this holds because this is a big board. Minnie, you ready? I am. You paying attention? I am. Oh, and it's got a light. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, when I'm saying seeing is believing on this, it's very fast, okay? Um, I got a very aggressive blade for construction materials and wood. But also, <laughs> I have it clamped, but also, I'm not, my teeth aren't rattling. <laughs> this is why I gotta say feeling is believing. I'm letting the machine cut, I'm not putting a ton of weight on it, and you'll see that I can use this, big game, can you hear me? You can use this one-handed. And this just cuts like butter through here. If I put any pressure on here, I can go right through it if I want. But I was just letting the blade cut like this. And then I'm gonna go into that four by four. Oh, okay. Now, that, my friends, oh, let me see if I can get this clamp down a little bit stronger here. Let me get this here. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm gonna do this because I want you to see, Big D, can you get this? 
I want to get this out of the way because I want to hopefully quantify it for you. Let's, I'm going to grab a broom. You got to have this as a Festool broom. I'm just kidding. But I'm going to take this like this. This is all the dust. And, and I made sure, let's bring that right into view. Okay, good. Let's get this out of the way. I'll put it right here for now. Chris, don't trip. What makes Festool different? What's the differentiator? It's called dust extraction, right? Okay. Same thing with the jigsaws. Yes, you're going to get dust because some of the blades, you know, from underneath, you can't capture that. But this is the attachment for the RSC-18. And I want to show you how this goes on. I'm going to do this. Chris, get in here. I'm going to lock my tool off, okay? Or do what? Take the battery off. But I want to show you. You're going to see, hopefully you'll see this. There's a little tab right here. As I put this on, okay, I'm going to put the tab and you'll see the two notches. Can we get that, Big D? See the two notches right there? Okay, that's what these two tabs go into. So as I take this, I'm going to bring it on the shoe and you got to hear it click in and it still articulates. I'm going to get dust extraction on here. Hey, did, uh, did, the, did the vacuum come on last time? I don't know, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Chris, get in here so we can see this. I'm gonna sync this battery. Oh, big D. I need one with Bluetooth. <laughs> That's why it wasn't working. Got it right here. I'm just gonna check. Whoopsie. You know, whoo, beautiful. Bluetooth. Hey, big D, it's gonna have a B on it for Bluetooth. It's the one I took off right here. Look, perfect. Let's just check it. Yep, got it. Okay, it has to have Bluetooth. By the way, all our batteries are Bluetooth now. I just have a bunch of old batteries in here. I'm gonna take it like this. Whoop, just heard it right. Okay, good. I got three bars on there. If I go like this and touch it, listen. Let's get into the battery. It was working earlier, wasn't it, Chris? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab a four. Let's see what this one is. There we go. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Fly, baby. I know. Okay. <laughs> it's live, baby. All right, let's do this. So, we got all the, we got all of it off. We're all locked in, we're clamped down. Let's cut. Man, this, I can't even feel the vibration in here. That's why weight's good with a recip saw. So the battery, I mean the, the battery, <coughs> the vac's going to run a few minutes afterwards, but this is what I wanted to quantify for everybody, okay? Look at the difference. Huh? 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 I, oh, wow. Look, 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 I'll, I'll get some more over here. Wow. Look, 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 Minnie, do you see the difference? I do. Look at that, huh? So the dust extraction works. Woo! <laughs> I wanted to make sure everybody saw that because if you put, if you didn't compare it, you would say, look, there's dust. But boy, it's a whole heck of a lot less. And I don't know, it's probably a quarter of the dust out there. So it gets like 75%, I'm just guessing, right? So I wanted to point that out. That is the construction blade. We have multiple blades. This is basically the Carvex blade, really thick. I used this for cutting this yesterday, works great. We have, and you're gonna see me in a few minutes, we're gonna cut some plastic. I'll use the Carvex style blade for that. I always call it Carvex, but it's the heavy duty blade. We have this, you'll see it has a spear point, and you can 
push into foam and cut foam board with this. Foam insulation works fantastic. Uh, let's, let's switch over to a steel blade. No, you know what? Let's cut some PVC, because I know a lot of plumbers out there cut uh, PVC. So once again, I'm gonna take it over here. Okay, I'm gonna lock the trigger out. Oh, that's kind of cool. The, the, uh, the dust extractor still came on, even though I pressed it in. I'm gonna take the, the battery off real quick. And I'm gonna take the blade out. Remember, if you are cutting a lot of timber, this blade was probably hot, so you'll wanna just shake it out and it kinda spits out a little there for you. I'm gonna grab a brand new blade, cause I can, and I'm gonna put this in. And what do I gotta do? I'm gonna be cutting some galvanized pipe. I'm gonna take the pendulum, uh, so it's cutting in line, and I'm gonna put it in one. So let's set this off this side before I put the battery back on. Now, I grabbed the work center, because everybody asks on the work center, why do you have this V in there? And it's to, what? Lock round the material out on the job site. And I'll just take this like this, lock it in so it doesn't rotate while I'm cutting. You hope. <laughs> oh. Hey, maybe I should uh, do some demolition and cut this wall in half. What do you guys think? Okay. Not. Everybody says yes. No, I'm just messing with you. I, I want to see what your response was on that, guys. <coughs> okay, I'll put a battery back on. Real easy. Has anybody out there used a corded sawzall? I did, that's how I grew up using a corded sawzall. And I thought, wow, this is wonderful for demolition. Don't use it all the time, but it was always there. And then I borrowed my buddy's cordless sawzall. It was really tough to go back and use that corded one because you have what? The freedom. Okay, so let's, uh, let's cut some steel. Yeah, that's taking too long. You know what I say to that? That's like butter. Okay, so let's cut some PVC. We'll switch the blade. Oh, I'll take that off. And for PVC, I'm gonna use this blade. This is a really strong blade. Put it in there like that. Okay, it, it's always like that. Let me get this. Don't ever touch that, because that's really hot, or can be. And let's get some PVC in here. So I want to show you what it can do, but I want to make sure that this probably isn't the right application, because I'm clamping stuff down. Usually this PVC, is for it may be in a wall and you got to cut it out. Okay, as a plumber or in the ground, I'll tell you what I have used recently, my Sawzall, is I've used this blade and it helps me prune some of the, tr some of the uh, trees around the, and shrubs around the house. This, by the way, it even says in the specifications that this is good for pruning. All right, so let's see if I can shake, rattle, and roll this. Once again, always make sure that that shoe is on there to start it. And you know what really helps? If there's a battery on there, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> You know what I need, guys? A vacation. Hey, Mo! Woo! And that's why I said it's usually in the wall, not clamped down to a workbench. Okay. Thank God for live. All right, so we have different metal blades. We have different lengths of blades. Okay, you don't always need this super long one. This one is for construction materials that are very abrasive. This is actually a very strong blade. Okay, and I believe it's carbide tipped. Okay, so there you go. This is a very, very long wearing blade. All right. 
Did I cover everything I wanted to cover? It's got a belt hook. I mean, a belt hook. That ain't no belt hook. That's a raft. <laughs> that ain't a belt hook. It's not a belt It's a raft uh, hook. I covered blades. I covered pendulum swing. I covered make sure you, be, you, have, you play it safe with everything. It's got the lock off switch. Bluetooth batteries. Bluetooth batteries, big D. It has a B on it, baby. <laughs> OK, also, it has a brushless motor. So. I didn't want to do what I've seen other people do and take it and throw it because everybody knows this is a abused tool, but it can take the abuse. In other words, it's got the 100% industrial warranty, uh, um, professional tradesman's warranty, where it's three solid year, years, including wear and tear. It is so important to understand that that nine pounds when you pick it up is very beneficial because it dampens vibration, but it'll also help you when you're cutting. It'll take you through the cut even better. And go try one out. You have to because if you have a Sawzall now, you may want to switch to the Festool Sawzall. Now, I didn't cover this. <laughs> Because I mentioned early on, what else would you want in the Festool lineup? I haven't shown this survey, have I? Not yet, right? Okay. So we did a survey in 2020, and it says, what cordless power tools do you use? 96% of the people, drills and screwdrivers. That's what they have, right? You know, 68% uh, were impact drivers, and you know, 62% uh, with jigsaws, 56% circular saws, 52% angle grinders, and 42% of you use reciprocating saws. So it was so important for us to get a, I always say saws all, but a reciprocating saw into our lineup, and it just increased that huge, huge breadth of line that we've come up with and are going to continue to come up with in cordless for you folks. 18 volt is where it's at. Okay, I, I need to get going here to call out some names. I'm just going to wheel this over. And Chris, don't slip on the PVC pipe, brother. <laughs> Let's just bring this over here so it's a little bit easier. All right, so here we go. <coughs> wow, Minnie, Minnie, that's both sides, huh, already? Holy Macanola, you've been writing, huh? All right, we have Ray, and Ray from Pensacola, Florida. We have Mike M from Austin, Texas. We had Ed from the Big Island Bra. We have Matt Tinley from Ill uh, Ill Tinley Park, Illinois. No, we have Matt, not Matt Tinley. <laughs> God, I'm off today. We have Matt, I need a vacation. We have Matt from Tinley Park, Illinois, Joe from Waseca, Illinois, Andrew from Toledo, Ohio, George and his dog, no, we have Richard and his dog, George, who's sleeping right now in the UK. We have Dominic from Dedham, Mass. We have Richard from Lake Como, Italy. Hey, that's cool. Minnie, you kind of know that area, don't you? I will. Yeah. Okay. We have Aronzo from Mississauga, Ontario. We have Julian from Lausanne, Switzerland. We have Paul, Cheryl, and Sam from Anthem, Arizona. We have the watch. Oh, we have the watch partiers. Woo! Dirk and Dayton Woodcraft. We have Dirk from Dayton and the Woodcraft in Dayton as well. How you doing, watch partiers? We have Mark S. from Woodcraft of Springfield, Virginia. We have Michelle from Paris, France. Anthony S. from Staten Island, New York. Des from Harrogate, England. Jim from Pensacola, Florida. We have Russ from Chichester, UK. We have Doug from Zionsville. Where's Zionsville? Mm, never heard of it. Oh, it's right there. Okay, we have <laughs> Dale from Swata Lintcoat, England. We have Christopher from Malta. Hey. Woo! We have Rick from Sunny Blackpool, UK. Hey, is it warm in here? Yes. It is. It's warm in here, huh? All right, cool. Because I haven't worked this hard in years. Woo! We have Gerald from Derrida, LA. That's Louisiana. We have Sponty from Canton, Connecticut. Dan from Whitestone, New York. Warren from Batavia, Ohio. Rob from South Devon, Devon England. Soren from Denmark. Bermuda Steve. Willie Spack, Trish, and Jacob from Rhode Island. Nicholas from Belgium. David from Israel. Ed from Douglasville. 
Massimo from Belgium. We have Enrique from Atlanta, Georgia. Michael from Edmonton, Alberta. Ben and Betty from... <laughs> Ben and Benny from Betty's Bay, South Africa. Johnny Ringo and Spike. Bahama Brian, how you doing, Mr. St. John Moss? New Leaf Interiors. We have Gruffid Oak and Goose from that place called La Lennon for Hungal, a young Norwegian of Avnefa. Northern Wales. We have Engineer Mike from New Hyde Park, New York. Gary from Beer with the Boys. Fifi from Slovenia. Petri from Yolari, Finland. Jeff from Claxburg, Maryland. Jim from Cincy. Jim from Cincinnati. Carrie from Dallas, Texas. Dan from Kingman, Arizona. Jason and Yana whoo, from Granite Falls, Washington. Blake Weber from Nevada, California. Blake, you're there with us every week. Mark from Walney Island, England. Frank from Downers Grove, Illinois. Keith from Bozeman, Montana. I'll be out in your neck of the woods pretty quick here. Kurt from Rochester, Michigan. Oliver, how you doing, Oliver, from Southern California? It's Dave and you know who. Gwen. Gwen. Everybody say Gwen. 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 All right. David Kim from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Peter Halley. How you doing, Peter? We have Matt from Newark, Ohio. Johnny from Hoffman State, Illinois. Warped Woodsman, Portland, Oregon. How you guys doing? Huh? We haven't seen you in about a year. Gail from Eden, New York. Giev from Shakers Height, Illinois. 320 Workshops from Ashland, Virginia. We have Eric. Oh, boy. Culis Khan, Sonola, Mexico. Good job. Did I do okay? Sure. Brian from Pump and Bill, Australia. Steve, I love it that people are online with us from Australia. We have Steve from Sweet Home, Alabama. Apo from Finland. We <laughs> <laughs> Can't keep doing this. We have Mike from Oahu, Hawaii. Yeah, bra. We have Ed from Westchester, Illinois. Kenneth from Oak Park, Illinois. Everybody's putting S's now. Oma from Oma from Oma from Maryland. We have Michael from Puyallup, Washington. We have Johnny O from Atco, New Jersey. Julie from St. John, New Brunswick. Very nice. You ever been there? No. It's wonderful. Oh yeah. my God, it's beautiful. We have Mark from Krimpen and on Delek, Netherlands. We have Wouda, Wouter. It's Wouter, like a router. Wouter from Utrecht, the Netherlands. Jerry G from Sugar Grove, Illinois. We have Bilbo. Is that Bilbo Baggins? Yep. From Denmark. All right, who else we have here? We have Joshua. Do you know who Bilbo Baggins is, Manny? I do not. It's from The Hobbit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or Lord of the Ringies. We have Joshua from Sun City, Santa, Florida. Mikey from Merced, California. We have Roll, Roll Vega, the Netherlands. How you doing, Roll? Everything okay? I'm hoping, brother. We have J.R. from Regina, Saskatchewan. Al Davis. <laughs> Did you see that? Al Davis from Las Vegas. You know who that is? That's Drew Witt. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you're messing with me, Drew. All right. We have Michael C. from Winchester, Virginia. Steve from Nashville, Tennessee. We have Leo from Holland. Now, Leo is with us all the time. Leo, thank you for being with us. We have Mac with a C from Los Angeles. Chad and Colton from South Whitley, Indiana. How you doing, Colton? I haven't forgotten, brother. I'm still checking for stickers all the time on my back. We have Brandon and Brad. Hola. The Kansas Watch Party. Woo! Olay. Olathe, Kansas. Kansas. That's what you see when you see your turning machine. Olathe. I want to know if they're having a watch party, and I want to know why Pensacola is not. Okay, why? Are you guys having a watch party? Let us know. Put it in the comments. Who? Three people from Pensacola today. Three people from Pensacola, Florida, up on the panhandle. There you go. Did you guys know Minnie is a native of Florida? Oh, yeah. You betcha. And I lived in Fort Lauderdale for 25 years. Woo That's where my accent's from. Okay, we have <laughs> Daniel from Barrett, Switzerland. Jeff 
from Bloomington, Indiana. Do you know what Indiana is, Benny? I do. It's right here. All right. We have Ray from Pensacola, Florida. I just said that. Mike from Tynesboro, Mass. Robert from the Netherlands. We have a lot of people from the Netherlands. Yes. That's over in uh, Europe. Yes, somewhere over there. Yeah, okay. It's near Holland. Never mind. Stevie Z from Sweden. That's up there, too, there in that uh, Europe area. We have Sam from Kingston, New York. Shop Talk coming back. It is. The new episode is posting pretty daggone quick. Uh, and we have, uh, we've have uh, boy, we have quite a few in the tank, don't we? We've been recording. Wait till you see these. They're awesome. We have Zuhair from Singapore. Mm. Is that the first time in Singapore? A second. A second time. Okay. Chris from Antwerp, Belgium. 66B Design in Plano, Texas. We have Stefan. Is it Stefan or Stephanie from Montreal? Stephanie, we, have, we have Brent from Louisville. See how we said that? It's not Louisville. It's Louisville. Okay. Paris from Montreal. That's weird. Paris and Montreal. Not Montreal and Paris. Get get that? Okay, never mind. Okay, and we have, <laughs> it is! Chris, look at who it is! I saw. It's the dude from China. Oh my God, People's Republic of China. That is, hey, how you doing, dude? Good to hear you, good to see you. I met, Chris and I met the dude mm -hmm. in Canada at Atlas. Wow. It was wicked cool. He comes up and he says, hey, Sedge, I'm dude. <laughs> and he's such a nice guy. Hi, dude! Woo! All right. Is that everybody, Min Min? That is everybody that I have, yes. Oh my God, it is the end of this episode. Sophia, thank you so much for all your help. Really appreciate <laughs> <laughs> what I do. <laughs> all right, everybody, thank you. It's time, isn't it? It is. Said you go on vacation. Yes, it is. All right, hey, everybody. Um, everybody chill. I think we get a best of next week, Chris. Okay. Do we? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Right? Yes. Yeah. And then the My Festival, too, right? Didn't that start? Oh, yeah, the My Chick, Chick, Festival. Okay, everybody, do this, please. Check our websites, whether here or Canada, because we are having another giveaway, right? Yes. Okay, and I think there's five here in the States, five in Canada, and it's a giveaway. Yes. TS60 with the rail. With the rail. Yep. Okay, yep. see? Hey, see, Chris, I remembered. <laughs> All the details are on our websites and our social. Check it out, guys. You know, I, I hate to keep winning. Okay. Tom and Kelly are here. Tom and Kelly from Eaton to Georgia. I was wondering where you guys were. Okay, hey, have a great weekend. Everybody stay safe, please. And what do I always say? We love you, everybody. Thank you so much for being part of our family. This is one heck of a fun time and ride for us. Uh, when we get back, it's uh, episode 155. So everybody chill. I'll see you when we see you. We just did two months straight of Festool Live, I believe. And um, Chris is really tired. He needs to go, f <laughs> he needs to go fishing or play golf again. Oh. Okay, everybody. Uh, everybody, just remember, we always blame the unit. <laughs> All right. Hey, Garrett, thanks, brother, from another mother. Thanks for working that uh, line for us. And Minnie, I love you. You're always there for us. Big D, it's great. And Sophia, great to have you here. All right. That, my friend.